Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, Coffee with John. Looking forward to talking uh, with Michael Knight again in our Optimal Health 2022 series. Um, Michael, um, owner of Art of Strength and, uh, uh, you know, just a great workout. Um, but we've been talking about mind, body, spirit, eating, working out. Uh, today, you're with a client of yours, Marcus McGrew, uh, who you're going to tell us a little bit about and how he got back to optimal health. You know, John, this is an incredible story. So it's very, very difficult for anybody to ever come in my room with an excuse, especially the people that are going to be tuning in for this one, because this is probably the most special client I've ever trained. These are typical couple people that not typical. These are the kind of people I love helping. Um, I was training some hockey players. I thought he was the father of one of the hockey players, but actually he had trained with me years before and he walks in and I go, uh, how can I help you? So I was here before and I came back and I said, that's great. Tell me a little bit about you. He says, well, I got a new heart and I got two new kidneys. And I said, stop right there. I said, I can't wait to work with you, but I turned him on to Danzel Allen to write the workouts, Michael Paul to do the diet. And we started real slow and, um, his story is incredible that so much that the heart transplant cardiovascular surgeon that's the head of Henry Ford actually came down to Art of Strength to see what we were doing with him because she's never seen anything quite like this. But his yeah. determination, his soul, and his character speaks volumes. And I'm just blessed to have been part of his journey, and he'll be able to tell you the rest. Let's talk about his journey, yeah, Marcus. So, um, um, Marcus, good to connect with you. Tell us, um, tell us about your journey and, um, you know, where your mindset was really to kind of walk back into optimal health. Yeah. So November 20th and 21st of 2020, I received double organ transplants, uh, a heart on that Friday followed by a kidney transplant that Saturday. And three months later, after my body rested a bit, I went back to have my native kidneys extracted. Uh, my mentality uh, prior and post-surgery has always been one of positivity, uh, very optimistic. And I've, I've surrounded myself with the absolute best people from my medical team to, to Michael Knight, who I'm here with today, Michael Paul and Denzel Allen. And uh, as soon as I got clearance to uh, start weight training, which is really good for someone in my condition, I came back to Mike, reminded him I was here seven years ago, but was unable to even get through the assessment. Uh, due to really poor health, and I'm back. I've improved so much in about five, six months, and uh, oh, this guy and, and his team, uh, an incredible amount of gratitude. Yeah, I love that. Well, you look great. I'm glad you're healthy. Congratulations on, Thank on, you. on your health. <clears throat> you know, I, I love what you're talking about when it comes to surrounding yourself with the best. I think in business, it's very easy for people. I'm a business coach. It's very easy for people to do that uh, because that's kind of the, the business way, right? We, we need somebody to do our social media. We need somebody to do our marketing. We need an executive assistant. And we surround ourselves uh, and collaborate with people who um, can do things for us, right? Who do we need to do whatever we need to do to grow our business? I think in many cases, though, when it comes to our personal lives, we don't see it the same way. You know, we don't um, surround ourselves with the right uh, nutritional um, uh, resources, uh, trainers, you know, and, 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 and I think it's so important. And so I just want to kind of highlight that a little bit because I think it's, it's as important as it is in business. I think it's more important in our personal lives to surround ourselves with the who's, the who we need to help us, you know, do anything in an optimal way. And so once you started with the with the group, how did you keep the consistency? Because I think that's where people have a hard time. <laughs> uh, it's uh, I, I laugh because um, consistency is a much of a challenge for someone who has been through the various surgeries, um, cardiac rehab and, and, and the like. In fact, after each surgery, I was able to uh, be discharged from the hospital and bypass rehab altogether. After the double organ transplants, I left the hospital 10 days later, went home, started, you know, uh, climbing about 14 stairs. And then three months after that, when I went to have my native kidneys removed, that weighed almost 20 pounds. Uh, I was discharged seven days later. So 
you really don't have many options. Uh, as I'm sure you've heard Mike say before, you can change or die. Yeah. It's a matter of uh, what you're willing to do. And, you know, my option is to be consistent. My option is my option is to to live, to thrive and anything other than that just won't work for me. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. What one piece of advice would you give someone who, you know, it sounds like you were a mix of, um, you know, reactive and proactive, right? Mm -hmm. um, and 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 what would you talk to talk? What one piece of advice would you give somebody to just be preventative to begin this type of mindset and lifestyle before they have to? Yeah, so working out is mandatory. It's it's imperative. It shouldn't feel like an option. I don't have to work out. I get to work out. Yeah. So that, that is, you know, the mindset I have. And even when I was really, really ill, John, I was still working out. Yeah. Um, I couldn't, you know, weight train um, as I am now. But whatever it took to uh, stay active, it is something that I did. In fact, my my uh, medical team, uh, many of the, the nurses uh, in ICU asked, were you really active before? Because we yeah. probably only seen two to three patients bounce back from all the surgeries yeah. uh, you've had. So this is a very common. And so it was being active, but it was, it was also being um, mentally strong. You know, I yeah. definitely applied my faith um, and being healed, uh, being whole, and improving each and every day was my focus. I was not yeah. focused on being sick in any way. So I think you must first believe that what you're seeking, what your body needs is possible. And once you get that locked in here, you have to yeah. do the work. Yeah, I love it. Marcus, I, I um, your story is inspiring. I appreciate your, your, your words, your mindset. The way you think, the way you have, um, you know, just kind of um, really taken ownership of, of what you need to do for you. So congratulations on, on, on your success, but you're also your health. You look great. And, um, and I appreciate uh, I appreciate you sharing your story today. Michael and I have been doing a optimal health all week. And your story is a great way to end the week with great inspiration. Um, so thank you so much michael knight i will see you on monday as we pick this up and i appreciate you guys very much thank you so much john thank you for your time it's been a pleasure and i look forward to you have a great weekend we'll see you monday you too. thanks guys thanks guys all right bye-bye